going to start now with chapter four, listening. And I added this quote. I thought you would all appreciate that. It's important to note that listening is a skill that we need to develop. Most of us are better at talking than listening simply because we spend more time developing our talking skills and less time actually working on our listening. So there's purposes and payoffs to listening. And I thought that this was a good tie-in Going all the way back to chapter one, remember that communication is purposeful was one of those principles. Well, we also have those same purposes for listening because listening too is purposeful, but it's also payoffs that you can get or, you know, rewards for listening. That's another way to put it. So the first is when we listen effectively, we get to learn more information. We can relate to other people more effectively if we listen to them and apply what we learn from listening to them to their lives and to our relationship. Third, we can influence people. When we listen, we learn things. We have a better relationship with them. And then what we can do is actually influence them because we have the information that we need. We're also going to listen to attitudes, values, beliefs, all of those things, and we're going to be influenced. You're also going to influence when you listen effectively to people. We can influence people when we listen to their problems because they start to really depend on us. And then the things we say, they actually take to heart, which shows influence. We can also play. And that means that sometimes when we listen, it's just enjoyable to do so. When somebody tells us a funny story, it's enjoyable, and we appreciate doing that. So you can be very entertained simply by listening to what people have to say. And last but not least, we can help. When we listen to help somebody else, that's really a way to have purpose in our lives. And also, we can help people understand their thoughts and ideas. We can help them think through issues they're having. And then they can maybe even get a more objective view for something that they're having trouble dealing with. So purposes and payoffs of listening right there. The stages of listening are five fold. So what we have is the receiving stage, the understanding, remembering, evaluating, responding. And it's a very clear cut process. These are not as blended as say the stage of perception. However, there is some flow and some give, a, give and take. For example, when we receive and understand, sometimes those are not separated in our mind, even though they're very separate in theory, we may not always be aware of the fact that they are happening. When we receive and understand, we will remember. If you don't remember something that somebody has said, you probably did not receive it or you did not understand it. So it's very important that without remembering, we did not listen effectively. So if you have problems remembering what people are saying, it might be attributed to poor receiving habits or poor understanding habits. When we receive, we hear something, but hearing is different than listening in that when you hear something, that just means physiologically your ear is working the way it should. Sound is bouncing off the eardrum. So that's the process of hearing. But when we attend to a message, we actually say, I'm going to focus on this, pay attention to it, and actually listen. And listening requires more activity than just hearing. Hearing, you don't have to do anything. It's going to happen to your ears unless you put your hands over your ears. But listening is an active process in which you have to do things. And in the receiving stage, you have to say, I'm going to focus. And then in order to understand, you have to learn what it is. You also have to decipher meaning. Another word for decipher meaning, anybody know? Well, decoding is how we make sense of somebody's message, right? So that's how we decipher message. We have to decode it. The next stage, remembering, we have to recall and retain. You can maybe recall it for a couple of minutes, but if you can't retain it, then you probably, again, failed in receiving. Next is evaluating it. Usually we will judge or we will criticize what somebody has said. Sometimes our judgment is either that was helpful information or that was not helpful information. Sometimes when I'm telling you things through this lecture, I'm sure you say, ah, she's going off on a tangent, telling me a story. 
I don't necessarily need to listen to this. It's not critical for me to understand the material. And that's okay to do. You need to make decisions in a day on what you should pay attention to and what may not be all that critical. Hopefully I don't do that too often. And then last but not least is responding. And that's where we give the feedback. We answer the questions. We show, hey, I was listening, not just hearing what you had to say.